God bless you. We're still celebrating 10 years in the internet ministry. I'd like to share with you a project that I've kept under wraps, but I'd like to share it publicly now. I'm writing my first book, and it will be entitled The Light of Prophecy. The Light of Prophecy. That name comes from our newsletter that we had at one time. And we had 60 issues over, I believe, a five-year period. Originally, the book was just going to be a compilation of all those newsletters and a few extra editorial ad-libs, and that would be it. But the Spirit truly carried me forward and gave me a larger view and vision of what this book could really be. And I'd like to briefly share with you the book and approximately when it's going to be re released. The book is going to really talk about how we can let the light of God affect the world around us. There will be five chapters. Chapter one is going to be on the light, of the spiritual light. It's going to define what the spiritual light is according to the scripture. It's going to bring in philosophy and even a analysis of physical light. What does the physical light mean and represent. We're going to combine those into a definition of the spiritual life. The next chapter, chapter 2, will be on prophecy. We're going to dispel some myths about prophecy and the fact that psychic ability and prophetic ministry are not necessarily the same thing. We're going to break down two of the Old Testament prophets to give an example of what prophecy really means especially according to father hurley in our next chapter chapter three it is called the souls of humanity and that's going to be a very interesting read because it's going to juxtapose two ideas two opposing ideas optimism versus pessimism and realism versus person wearing the rose colored glasses and we formulated four categories of all human beings based on these two opposing ideas and hence four souls and these four souls will be explained and we're going to argue as to what soul we all should carry in the fourth chapter we're going to finally deal with a lot of prophecy in its fullness we're going to combine the spiritual light prophecy and the correct soul we should carry and really explain in fullness what the light of prophecy is. We're going to then move on to chapter 5 and apply the light of prophecy. I believe it's called the need for light today. And we're going to give you practical ideas of how you can take the light of prophecy and shining upon the world we live in how we can help the world become better how we can uplift the fallen humanity in our everyday lives not just praying and not just holding a thought though those are important and those are practical in their own way but things we can physically do actively do to bring in the manifestation the light of prophecy to teach people about the light of prophecy and to show them and to demonstrate to them the importance of developing the light of prophecy. Uh, I'm praying that the book will be finished in two to three months. I first hope to have it ready by the April Convention of the Universal Hagar Spiritual Church, but I prefer not to do that because I don't want to rush it. I want to make sure it is high quality, as high quality as I can make it. So we're going to take our time with that and produce that as soon as possible and we will let you know and we'll allow you the opportunity to be the first to read it and to get your copy of it so we thank you again for your prayers and your support of the internet ministry and for all the other ministries that have sprang forth from that original seed may god bless you and keep you and thank you for viewing